All right, you. I'll be back. Okay. How's the meatball coming? It's always a challenge. Yeah? <laughs> Didn't have enough foam. Well, you wore the right color shirt. Yeah. If I get paint on it, it won't show. So that's a plus. Not unlike that. <laughs> Right, I gotta go up into town to get some shopping done. A few uh, things that Kathy needs. I'm gonna drive the Camaro. All right, so today I got a few things to do this morning, but then I'm headed out to the Peterson Museum. We're gonna concentrate on 1910 to 1920 cars. Gonna meet up with my friend Andy, so let's go. Museum. Got to meet up with Andy following a McLaren. Kind of partially on the way there. Looks pretty smoking hot. Check this out. And even though I'm driving a super cool brand new 2016 Chevrolet Camaro, I was going to say yellow, but I decided to leave that part out. We're going to be checking out cars from 1910 to 1920. Andy's kind of the expert there, so uh, he'll be showing us around, showing us some cool stuff. And we're going to have a really good time, as always. Heading into the Peterson Museum. Not too many cool cars in the parking lot right now, except for my car. We're at the Peterson today. What are we doing, Andy? Well, today we're going to look at the 10s to 20s cars. Okay. Which there's not a lot, but there's a few. And they're very cool. How many? I think there's four or five. Okay. All right. That's good. So we're at the Peterson. We're going to look at, at cars from 1910 to 1920. Correct. All right. Enough talking. Let's go. Let's go. They were built, Model T's were built between 1908 and 1924. Okay. They built over 15 million of them. <laughs> uh, the cheapest ones came out like $260 a piece. So wow. Really cheap. Really cheap.
1913 Mercer. Mercer. Okay, so they built about 150 of these. Uh, they had about 34 horsepower. They could go 60 miles an hour back then. That's and insane. If, and if you look at this car, where it's would the same you go 60 miles an hour? That'd be all like dirt roads. Oh, they didn't even have improved roads then. No freeways. It'd be a great booze car. <laughs> yeah, there'd be no place to hide it. Though. It's, it's true. So it kind of stands out. This particular car has never been restored, so never yeah. had it. Took good care of. How many did they make of these? 150. Well, it was expensive. It was belonged dark. <laughs> Fatty Arbuckle. <laughs> That's tough one to say. We just heard from some some guy walking by that he went to jail for for something having to do with a 17-year-old. Yes, I okay. didn't know about that. I don't think it has anything to do with the car, but you, know, but you never know. I do know the car cost $25,000 in 1914, which was a fortune. Oh yeah. But he had just gotten a contract for a million bucks, so that was like chump change. Oh yeah. You know, so. yeah. so what what would 25,000 be now? Hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Okay. I so it would be a lot, a lot yeah. more than you would want to spend on this car, because it's French. Because it's French. Yeah. All right, so behind this is a 1915 Detroit Electric, right. which is, it's pretty amazing because it's an electric car that had a, a, a pretty solid range on it. And they made them for like 20 years, which and is amazing. How far could this thing go? It had a range of like 80 miles at 20 miles an hour. <laughs> so you're stuck in that thing for four hours. And, yeah, for four hours, <laughs> and it had, but it has no steering wheel. It's no, got it has, like a lever. It's like a tiller. Yeah. It just has two, it has throttle and a tiller, that's it. Jeez. But it looks like a living room inside. Yeah, look inside, it looks like a living room. Yeah. It's got a swivel chair, it's got really comfy. was a electric gasoline hybrid. Kind of similar, they had a gasoline engine that drove a generator that drove the wheels. Similar to what a large cruise ship or a uh, diesel electric train does today. So it's pretty innovative 19, for its time. 1914, so it took us 100 years to get back to electric cars. Pretty much, yeah. There's no kind of lame. We should have been there long before now. <laughs> the battery technology just isn't there. Yeah, well, it wasn't there back then, but but, yeah. but it worked. I mean, how, you it know what the range work. on this was? Um, it was about 60 miles. So that's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah. I mean, you know, but, but again, at 20 miles an hour, that's yeah, it doesn't. You're not really going it's that not far. Not gonna rip your hair off or yeah. anything. All right, so we had a good time. It's, uh, there's some some good cars here for yeah. uh, 1910 to 1920. Correct. Next time we'll hit 1920, 1930, and there's yeah. lots of there's those. There's a lot of those. Yeah. Way too many. We'll have to yeah. drive some of those. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, just don't tell anybody. Yeah. Because yeah. this is the Peterson, they don't allow you to do that. Yeah. Which is exactly why we want to do that. Exactly. Yeah. Very cool. Big thanks to Andy for showing us around. Going to be heading back there soon. 1920 to 1930. Very cool. Time to go.
Let's have a little piece of chocolate. These are so good. These are so good. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. I think I drooled. Okay, a big, big thanks to Andy again. Andy and I go way back, all the way back to probably 2003. Andy's a pretty amazing guy. He uh, retired from north of Grumman. He was in charge of a lot of top secret projects that we can't talk about. He's told me everything. <laughs> not even. I'm not allowed to know. Squat. He did mention Area 51 at some point, I think by mistake. You know, I can't tell you what he said though. Okay, that's it for vlog 248. Super happy you guys joined me for today. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I got some super big news for tomorrow. Really big news that I'm gonna tell you. Uh, the only thing I can say right now is it's really big news. But tomorrow, I'm actually gonna tell you something that is, well, it's super big news. That's all I can say. And until then, we'll see you tomorrow.